These festive Raspberry Linzer cookies are a cute edible gift idea for loved ones. They're easy to make shortbread cookies filled with a homemade raspberry sauce center. Hey guys, I'm Nick and today I'm going to show you how to make the best Christmas cookie, in my opinion, for the festive season. These also double up as a great Valentine's Day cookie. To begin, add some flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, baking powder and salt to a large mixing bowl and use a whisk to mix until well combined. Set that aside and to a separate bowl, you're going to add the softened butter and sugar and my hand mixer broke when I was creaming egg yolks and sugar together. So I've since bought a new one, but I'm going to be using my spatula to mix these together. So it's really important that the butter is really softened. After about two minutes of mixing, you want to add your vanilla extract, egg yolk and your egg and mix until well combined. The mixture is going to look a little bit split, which is normal. You want to add half of the flour mixture in there and mix with the spatula, then add the remaining flour mixture and mix until the dough forms. You want to mix just until no dry ingredients are showing. You don't want to overdo it, otherwise you'll end up with a tough cookie. Ha! <laughs> tough cookies. Split the dough into two and shape them into rough balls. Now the technique I'm going to show you to roll out cookie dough is my favourite. You want to lay out a large piece of baking paper on your workbench, place half the dough on top and then fold over half of the baking sheet on top of the dough. Use a rolling pin to roll out, it's not going to stick to your workbench or your rolling pin. Roll it out to about 1 8 of an inch thickness. Then place it on a baking tray and chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. In the meantime, you can preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be using a 3 inch cookie cutter to cut out as many cookies as I can. This recipe makes 20 cookies, so if you actually roll out the dough and keep cutting, which you totally can do, you will get 20 cookies in this recipe. Can you double the recipe? Absolutely. I did that this year because I love giving these out as gifts. Use a spatula to transfer those to a baking tray lined with baking paper. And then this is the fun bit. You can cut out a little window on half of the cookies, which is going to be the top of your cookie once you've sandwiched them together. Again, you can use a love heart or you can use a star, any little cookie cutter you have, even a round circle. Love heart ones will mean that these are great for Valentine's Day. So use your imagination, use whichever cookie cutter you have. You're going to bake these for eight minutes or until the very outside of the cookies are a little bit golden. Let them cool down completely and then place the cool down cookies with the whole cutout onto a cooling rack with a baking tray underneath and dust them with powdered sugar. On the other half of the cookies, you're gonna pipe some raspberry sauce or jam. I'm using my raspberry sauce recipe, which is over on my website at scramline.com. Jam is a little bit thicker and easier to work with, but the raspberry sauce does eventually kind of set. So either is fine. Sandwich your cookies together to finish and that's it. These are ready to serve and gift. If you want to grab the recipe, and you totally do, it's over on my website at scramline.com. Link for that is in the box below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a lovely festive period, and I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scramline. Bye.